every single person is looking for happiness, love, serenity, success. There is no person in this world that plans to fail. But then why do we find two type of people? Those who find success, those who feel successful, those who are happy, and on the other hand, those who feel sad, unhappy, no contentment. You see, every single person has the opportunity to achieve success, happiness, and serenity. The question is, what is the key factor that separates mankind into two categories? The answer is the story that we tell ourselves. The story that we tell ourselves is a key factor, or they call it the blueprint, that allows us to achieve a goals or finds us always coming up with an excuse. If you find every successful person in business, in social, in his life, you will see that they have this one common factor of their life, and that is they tell themselves a positive story. Have you ever seen, on the other hand, when you ask the question to a person that tells him a very negative story, why did you fail the exams? How come you could not open a company? Why don't you have any money? You will see that they always have a particular excuse. It wasn't the right time. Uh, it wasn't the right environment. I didn't have the moral support. The reality is that nothing in this world can affect us if we truly want success. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says in a hadith Qudsi that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Ana inda dhanni abdi bi. I am to my, to my slave how much they expect from me. If a person has 20% yaqeen, faith in Allah, then he will get 20%. If a person has 50% yaqeen in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, then he will get 50%. If sometimes he believes, sometimes he's motivated, and sometimes he's not, then sometimes he will see success, and sometimes he will not see success. If a person has yaqeen in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we see in history of those who are successful, the odds were against them, yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them success. It's the story that we tell ourselves when we are put in a situation, we always have husnudan. We always have good thoughts for other people. Have you heard that word before? That there, my dear listeners, is what we call a positive story. It doesn't matter if someone is rude with us, if someone is kind with us, it makes no difference. Have you heard of another hadith of the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam says that strange is a believer, that when he goes through good times, he says alhamdulillah, and he appreciates and he shows gratitude to Allah. And when times become difficult, he also still says, Alhamdulillah, fasabara, and he has patience. Why? It's because they are telling themselves a good story. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the understanding that we are able to achieve the highest of results. In reality, the only obstacle we have is ourself. And that can be removed by us telling ourselves that we can do it. Because our creator, the word impossible, is not for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is possible. So ask from that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that everything is possible and you will find success in this life and in the life hereafter. Thumma ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.